Gabe Newell has famously said that video games don't have to be realistic to be fun. When I recently thought about Starfield and what I would do to make my next video, I took this sentiment to heart. That's why I made Sonic the Hedgehog in space! Hello everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I'm going to show you all how to install the next generation of Starfield mods, those made with XEdit as ESM mods, by showing you all how to install a mod that I recently made that makes you run as fast as Sonic. You need this video because XEdit will be the standard of modding moving forward, even with the release of Creation Kit next year. Installing these mods that has less chance of corrupting your save takes a few extra steps compared to non-retexture mods that have been released so far. You also need to know how to test and install the mods that you make using XEdit yourself, as I'll show you how to do in my next video. Be sure to like and subscribe to find out more ways to unleash your creative potential and build your video game design portfolio. Fortunately, installing XEdit ESM mods is very easy, like dodging bullets when your enemies can't aim fast enough to keep up with you. Installing these mods takes a couple of steps and a bit of basic computer file folder management. First, we're going to download our desired XEdit mod. For this, we're going to get my mod, Gotta Run Fast, which drastically increases your in-game run speed and swim speed. Go to the Nexus mod page in the video description and download the game to Vortex which will simplify installation. Second, we need to install the plugins.txt enabler mod. Go to the Nexus mod in the video description and also download this mod to Vortex. Third, we need to create your plugins.txt file, which takes just a little bit more work. Go to the following path. We need to go to the app data folder, which may be hidden. If hidden, click on the view show hidden button as shown. Then go into App Data, Local, Starfield. To simplify mod installation, I have included a template plugins.txt file that you can just copy and paste into this location. If you want to install another mod, copy the line that starts with an asterisk and replace the name of the mod with the name of the one that you're installing. Or just make a new line and put it there if they don't conflict. So if you want to install a run faster mod that doesn't make you into a bodybuilder carrying around a sword. Drink your chunks milk kids. You can download the simple faster run mod by Somber X and add the following line. It is worth noting that this other mod conflicts with mine because we operate on similar parameters. So you're gonna have to decide which one to stick with for an entire playthrough. For everyone who sticks with mine and for every like that this video gets, the adoring fan will have his movement speed boosted by 10%. So if this video gets 10 likes, he will be twice as able to follow you and will worship the ground that you walk upon. Fourth and last, all you have to do is test the mod, launch Starfield, and reap the benefits. Learning to install XEdit mods will help you get even more from your game. While a bit more work is involved than prior mods, it is readily done. To learn how to make your own, adding new weapons and armor to the game, tune into my next video where I'll show you how to do that step by step, and remember to leave comments on what you plan to make. Thanks for tuning in. Starship out.